$2.9 million. That's how much the Great Lakes Recovery Centers received in a rural development grant loan program. Now the GLRC is announcing a two-building expansion thanks to the additional funding. TV6's Beth Cephalou joins us live from one of the locations in Nagani and has more. Beth? That's right, Steve. The Great Lakes Recovery Center has purchased two buildings from Bell Hospital. The Tobin Building in Ispeming and the Woodland Senior Living Center, which is in Nagani right now behind me. Now, the GLRC has provided addiction and behavioral services in Market County for over 30 years. But this expansion is one that employees say was needed in order for them to continue their services. Two new doors opening for Great Lakes Recovery Centers. After receiving a rural development loan from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, GLRC CEO Greg Tutant says it's funding he's been fighting to get for the past five years. We are one of the very few youth residential providers left in the state of Michigan. The expanded facilities will allow us to see more children that are in need of care and provide um, a state-of-the-art facility to do that. Thanks to the funding both buildings purchased from Bell Hospital will provide a much needed expansion for the recovery center. recovery center. Administrative offices will move to the Tobin building, while the Woodland Senior Center will become the new home for GLRC's youth. The current youth facility is so small, three or more youth share living quarters and art therapy class and dining is all done in the same room. The kids spend a lot of time together and this will be able to give them a little bit more downtime, time to themselves. Once renovated, the Woodland Senior Center will put an end to these cramped conditions. Educational space, group facilities, and rooms occupied by no more than two persons are some of the positives employees say have been long overdue. We're lacking space here to really provide the kinds of things we want to provide. It's really a, a difficult thing to just put in a few sentences because it means a tremendous amount to us. One million of that 2.9 total loan will be used, was used to purchase both of these buildings. The rest of the money will be used to renovate both of them and another facility that they have in Sault Ste. Marie. The renovations are expected to begin in October, last about three to five months, and then they're supposed to be finished and everybody moved in no later than next spring. This is Beth Seffel live in Nagani. Back to you, Steve. All right. Thanks a lot, Beth.